Hi. So in a previous tutorial, we had a look at performing a single download in your app using the Ubuntu Download Manager. This time, we'll take a look at performing multiple downloads and how you can support downloads continuing whilst your app is closed, which is really handy. So I'll start off again by creating a new project with one of the templates, and we'll call this uh, another download demo and do all the normal startup stuff. Uh, yeah, run CMake on everything. And we should then have a very simple app that we can use as a starting point. So if I run that, you'll see it's just the basic template app that doesn't really do much. Okay, so start off by importing Ubuntu Download Manager. And then this time, instead of creating a single download component, we'll create a download manager component. Now that provides access to all of the ongoing downloads in our app. Um, we'll give that the ID of just download manager. Uh, and we'll modify this button so that when it's clicked, we'll call the download method on that download manager component and give it a URL to download. Uh, there we go. Now, what we did last time was create a progress bar that we hooked up to our single download to show the progress of that download. We can't do it exactly the same way this time because we're going to have potentially lots of downloads. So what we'll do instead is we'll create a list view and set the width and height of that and give it as a model the download managers downloads list and that's what actually provides us access to all of the ongoing downloads and we can create a delegate for that as just being a progress bar so we'll set the width of that and set its maximum value to 100 and then set its value to being the model data's progress so for every new download that gets created we'll create a new progress bar that shows that downloads individual progress. So let's give that a run and see if it works. Okay, so when I tap the button, download starts all very happily. But if I tap it again, another download will start. I can tap it a lot of times and we'll get a little queue of downloads. As one finishes, the next one will start, which is very nice. But as before, we'd probably want to do something with the file once it's actually finished. So we can listen to the uh, download finished signal using the on download finished handler in the download manager. And this provides us with two parameters. It provides us with a download object and it provides us with a path. So for this, we'll just make use of the path and we'll modify that label uh, set its text, we'll append a new line and then the word finished and the path of the download that we've just received. So let's give that a go and start up a few downloads and as they finish they should appear at the top here one after the other. Okay, great. Now at the beginning of the video I promised to show you how you can support uh, downloads continuing whilst your app is closed and we've actually already done everything we need to do to handle that because the download manager component will automatically populate its lists with any ongoing downloads when your app starts up and it will give you download finished signals for any downloads that finished while your app was closed. So just to give a quick demo of that I'll change the file that we download to something slightly larger so we have a bit more time, start the app up again, set it down loading, but I'll then close the app, wait a couple of seconds, start it up again, you'll see the download's still continuing and we still get progress for it and when it finishes it should show up at the top there as all the others did. So that's the uh, end of this little tutorial, hopefully it's been useful again. Um, I'll probably do the next one on some of the basics for the content hub uh, and how you can transfer files between different apps, which should be 
interesting, I hope. And yeah, that's everything. Bye. <laughs>